And now, let us enjoy my Super Bowl 55 wrap-up show. Well, once again, the Super Bowl has come and gone, which the New York Jets were not a participant in. Real big surprise there, huh? All right, now, right off the bat, first of all, I've heard people saying this was a conspiracy to get Tampa Bay to play the Super Bowl in its own stadium. Shut up with that right off the bat. They picked these sites a few years ahead of time. If the Jets had somehow figured out how to get in a Super Bowl that year, play that, bleh, that year Seattle played Denver, that would have been in their stadium. Would everybody have claimed that's a conspiracy? And you know what? The Jets would have had it in their own building, and they probably would have found a way to blow it anyway. But that's besides the point. So shut up about that. Number two, let's stop it with the officiating. Patrick Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes' mom was going on about the officiating. Now I don't have. A, I'm not a fan of either team, so I can watch it partially. The officiating was fine. Kansas City played stupid. They were taking stupid penalties. Uh, I forget the fellow's name now. He's number 32 on the Chiefs. That guy went wacko. He was slamming his helmet down and jolling back and forth with Brady and taking penalties. Uh, it's, you know what's going to happen? What? Matthew. Matthew something or another. You know what's going to happen? Because that guy went nuts and messed up in a Super Bowl, the Chiefs will probably decide to trade him and he'll wind up on the Jets because whenever somebody messes up, they wind up on the Jets. Um, you know, and it's like they talk about, like, you know, Tom Brady goes here and he can do this and do that. You know what? If he were to go to the Jets and bring him a Super Bowl, I'd be fine with that. Did he play for the Patriots? Yeah. Did I root for the Patriots? No. I'm a Jets fan. Why would I? But if he were able to come to the Jets and bring him a Super Bowl, why not, you know, Gronkowski, Brown, whatever, bring them all, who cares? Now, knowing the Jets' luck, all those players would go to the Jets and then they'd all break their arms or legs or shoulders or something. And I'm not wishing that on them. I'm just saying this is the, the Jets' luck. Now, so as far as this you know, being the home game or whatever, Super Bowl fourteen between the Steelers and Rams was played in Pasadena. That's not too far from Anaheim. I've been to both places. And the Steelers won the game. Now the Rams had to leave for a while. And they, you know, gave a good account of it. But, you know, right there. But then on the other hand, um, the 49ers had a Super Bowl. They played the Dolphins. It was in Palo Alto. Not far from San Francisco. Bonus fart for you. Um, but, you know... What it all boils down to is how well you play. Steelers went out to Pasadena, and so did the Rams. The Rams play good, Steelers play better. Now, yesterday, it was in Tampa, but if Pitts Pittsburgh, if Kansas City had come out and played well, it wouldn't have mattered. But, New England came out, they punched him in the mouth early, and... Mahomes looked like he was shitting his pants all day. Um, personally, I picked Kansas City to win the game. Wrong. Now it's interesting is the final score wound up being thirty-one to nine. Imagine if it had been thirty-eight to nine, then that would have been like the year the Redskins played the Los Angeles, not Oakland or Las Vegas Raiders, in a Super Bowl. The Redskins were the defending champs, and they lost thirty-eight to nine. So if Kansas City had allowed one more touchdown, they would have been the defending champs with a 14-2 and record, much like Washington, in Tampa Bay, and they would have lost 38-9. Hmm. Now, since I openly admitted I got my prediction wrong about Kansas City, let me switch gears and kiss my own butt for a minute. In uh, fifth grade, I was in Miss Ratcliffe's gym class at uh, Belmar Park, school in Belmar, New Jersey, it's where I'm from in case you're wondering, and she had a chalkboard. And she drew a line down the middle and said, who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Redskins or Raiders? And yes, I said Redskins, it was the name of a fucking team. So everyone said Redskins, and I said Raiders. Was I mostly doing it to be different? Maybe. Did I have some some kind of psychic moment there? I was, you know, Madam Cleo kind of thing or something? I don't really know, but I'll tell you what, I'm sure I was walking in the gym class like my shit didn't stink on Monday after the Raiders got done winning, 
But then I'm sure my star shit started stinking soon after when I realized I'm still a Jets fan. And <laughs> So there you go. It wasn't a conspiracy. It wasn't the officials. Tampa Bay came out, punched Kansas City in the mouth early and often and frequently all day. Kansas City, that, Kansas City, yep. <clears throat> hey, the, hey, you get burps and farts in this. Kansas City played not well. One might say Kansas City for the way they played well, but I'm sure that joke has been uh, spread around like a Kardashian's legs. <laughs> So anyway, wasn't the officiating. It was Tom Brady's efficiency, Tampa Bay's defense, and they just had Mahomes on the run all day long. And do I think Kansas City will be back? Yes. Do I think the Jets will ever get to a Super Bowl in my lifetime? I don't know. I'm 48. I've been following these guys since I was eight. That's 40 years. They've lost four times in the AFC Championship game. Not all of them at home, all on the road. Um, two of which I think they should have won. That Pittsburgh one, maybe that Denver one, they had a 10-0 lead at the half, and that was it. Anyway, so uh, stop with the conspiracies and you're going to do that.